So we are here in CodePen because this was one of my CSS tips of the day where I am creating these tips of the day. I am putting out a new tip like this every single day over on Twitter and on Instagram. So you can follow on either one of those. There's links to both of them in the description below. And I've also started a back catalog at CSSTipOfTheDay.com, which will just bring you to a, my CodePen collection of all of these tips. So to get content overlap, well, the very first thing we need to do is we need to, uh, we have a display grid already on here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is set up some template columns. So grid template columns. I'm gonna put five columns just because it's easy to use and we can use the repeat syntax for that. So we can do repeat five times one FR. So that's gonna give me five columns of one FR. So it just evenly divides that space up. Now, what I wanna do is I need my image to be more than one of those columns. So let's do that. I think I just called it image. And we can give that a grid column one over three. So by going to three, you can see it's taking up more room now because it's using up two of the columns instead of one like it was doing originally. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get my text to overlap that. So the easiest thing to do is I called that grid content. Uh, we can on there put in a grid column of two over negative one. Now, the reason I'm using negative one is it just means go all the way to the end because the, the grid line numbers work in reverse. So you can do negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. So I want it to start at two. So you can see they would be overlapping. And this is the problem a lot of people run into is they get they do this step and then they don't understand why they're not overlapping each other because they've set their columns up to overlap. And grid by default is assuming you don't want to overlap your content. So it's going, well, there's not enough room for it here. I'm gonna push it down because this image is in the way. So if you do want them to overlap, you have to explicitly say it, but you can't just do it here. So we can do that with a grid row. But if I say grid row one over two, it's actually gonna then push the image down because it, once again, it's assuming it doesn't want you to overlap your content. So the way we need to do it is to do my image and my grid content. And on that, we can give them the grid row of one over two. So they're both on the same place. And now you can see they're actually overlapping each other. Um, so I could come back down here to my grid content and just say align self center. And just like that, we have our overlapping content. Maybe we don't want that border on there and you get something that looks a little bit like that. So really nice and easy. Grid is absolutely amazing. I'd love to know, are you actually using Grid in your projects these days? If no, what's holding you back? Leave a comment down below to let me know. Once again, you can follow these tips either on Twitter or on Instagram and get a new one in your feed every single day. Thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to my Patreons for helping support everything I do here on this channel. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.